A friend of mine asked me if I could print some Sea of Thieves coins for a kid's party. I don't know, but we're going to try it on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters, and they get special access to chepclub.com. So join us. The first thing I do when I'm looking for something like this is go to Thingiverse.com and I search for a Sea of Thieves. And there's only seven items that come up, which was surprising, but this is relatively new. Luckily, there's a coin. Check this out. The coin looks a lot like what I'm trying to do. And it's by this user A1 or E1, you figured out. But he did a great job, it looks like. And he's got just a picture that I've seen this on the internet. But his STL file, which is the actual file of his design, looked really good on top, but I wanted to see the bottom. So I clicked on thing view so I could 3D rotate this. And when I did, I discovered it's a two-sided coin with the same image on both sides. So if I print this flat, I'm gonna have all those pits and ruts, which is gonna be difficult to print. Now I could print it on its side, but I've never had good luck with that. So I think I might have to split this in half. The slicer I use to convert the image into a file for the 3D printer is Simplify 3D, but I haven't had great luck printing fine detail with Simplify 3D, even with all their settings. I found better luck with Cura. This is a free slicer, version 3.2.1 is their latest, so I decided to use that. I loaded the coin into Cura, and here it is on the bed, and I realize it's too big. This is going to be too big for a little kid's hands. It says it's 72 millimeters in diameter, so the first thing I need to do is shrink this down, and I also want to make it thicker, more like a true gold coin. So here's the dimensions that I can change. So it's 72.006. I'm going to make it just 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters. That's going to be the new diameter. Now it's 2.9142 millimeters thick. I'm just going to make that an even 5 millimeters. Then I'm going to lower this below the bed and I'll explain why in a minute. So here's the coin all resized. I think this should be a good size for kid's hand and nice and thick. So now I need to lower this below the bed because anything below the bed won't 3D print. So I'm going to lower it minus 2.5, so halfway. If I zoom in here, you should be able to see, yep, there it is, halfway. So anything below the bed is not going to print. So I'm going to get a nice flat surface and it's going to be 2.5 millimeters tall. So now I want to duplicate it, make a second one and it should come out to the same, yep, same thickness, same diameter. Now I need to lower this one 2.5, and then I'll have two halves that I can glue together. So I'll click on it, make it minus 2.5, lower that one. So now I'm gonna have two halves that don't print and two halves that do print on top. So I'm just gonna center them here, and then I'll run through the settings. I'm gonna use a fine 0.1 setting and a 50% fill, that's how much plastic will be filled into the print. I want it nice and solid. And then for temperature of the plastic, I'm going to use 205 degrees C. I know it works with this bronze or gold plastic that I'm using. 60 millimeters per second for speed is way too fast. I'm going to lower that to 30, give it time to really print the detail. Acceleration is way too high here, so I'm going to lower this down to 200 and then travel acceleration. I don't want this thing jerking around doing a fine print, so I'm going to lower that to 2000. That's just experience working with my printer. And the rest of this looks pretty good. The only th other thing I need to fix here, it's going to print a skirt by default. I want none. This is nice and flat. I don't need that. Then it's going to print everything at once, not individually. And once I'm done playing with the settings, this thing automatically starts slicing. Slicing is where it converts it into the G-code that the 3D printer understands. It converts it into a bunch of lines and X and Y movements. And then it tells me roughly how long it's going to take, and it's saying it'll take 3 hours and 24 minutes. Now that's just an estimate, but bottom line is it's going to take some time. Now I'm going to change the name here, get rid of the extra CR stuff they put in the front. I just want Sea of Thieves. I'll save this to the SD card, pop the SD card into my printer, start to print and walk away. Here's a quick time lapse of it printing the two coins. You can see it got dark. I printed this at night, so in the next morning, here are the coins. And I got to tell you, they came out really nice. Look at the edges, nice and crisp on the skull. The arrows look pointy and good. There's not a lot of stringing going on. It's not the best, but it's pretty darn good for these coins. And the back of them, nice and smooth because I cut those bottoms off. So now I can glue these together. I can put one facing one direction 
and another face in the other direction and line them up and I will have a solid coin which will be five millimeters thick because they're each 2.5. I will have a line there but that's not a big deal and a nice size for a kid's hand. Now we're to the final step, gluing it together and make it a real coin. I like to use super glue ultra gel. It seems to work really well with this PLA plastic that I'm using. I've done this before with other coins. So I lined up the coin so the skulls are both pointing in the upward direction. The arrows should be lining up. So all I needed to do was line up the edges and push down. Once I did that, I let it dry for a couple hours. And here's the coin. I got it lined up good. And both sides, it's a two-sided coin, both sides looking really good. I think the kids will have a lot of fun with this. Next step, I probably got to print about 50 more. If you like this video, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. If you want to help support the channel, join us at ChepClub.com via Patreon. And if nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe and don't miss an episode. That's it for this week. I'll see you next time, right here at Filament Friday.